Unfortunately, we can't always expect to find library or lib files to associate with spice models or associate with parts. We also can't always have the perfect like piece by template to associate with passives. So what do we do? We can sometimes or oftentimes generate a part from scratch. And I'll show you the automatic way to do that in this video using a lib file. So taking that lib file that you would have had from a previous video, we can actually use this to create a file here. So I'm going to open up PSPICE model editor. And then you would go with capture. If you're using ORCAD, you would choose design entry HDL. If you're using Allegro, let's go to file and model import wizard. Enter input model library. It's looking for a lib file. So let's go to browse and it's looking for a lowercase lib extension kind of file. So double click on that, make sure that is true. Then it will create the OLB for you. The OLB is a thing that holds schematic symbols in it, right? Okay, so we'll do that, click next, and then the symbol name, what would we name it? Okay, models with symbol, models without a symbol. We're showing both of them. Looks like models with symbols, none of them exist. Now what we can do is associate a symbol with these model parts, but I'm not going to go through all that. That's maybe some in like some advanced course or something. All right. So the simplest thing to do is just hit finish. Do you want to attach default rectangular symbol model to models without corresponding symbols in the destination symbol library? Yes. So in that destination OLB that it just created under downloads folder for me, it has schematic symbols, generic blocks. I can now close the PSPICE model editor and use ORCAD capture to open this OLB file. So I'm going to go ahead, double click on this. Then ORCAD capture has this open the max 15006A library. So let's ignore this schematic for now. And let's take a look at this library. If I were to double click on this max 15006, it looks like uh, just a box, a rectangle actually with some, some pins. So here, what you would do is go into your data sheet and replace the pin names and pin numbers appropriately or accordingly to make it match the data sheet. Once you're done with that, you would then go ahead Oh, and by the way, this has a spice model simulation profile associated with it. See the piece by template. See, it already has that. And then this is a piece by model already, and it has the implementation and the value. So we don't need to do anything here. This can be simulated. And what you would do is go into your, your project. If you want, you can like actually copy this, this uh, part from this other library and then go into your own library and right click your library and choose paste. Now you have the, the device that can be simulated. Okay. So now we need to place this on the schematic, hit save, go to your schematic. So double click on your page and then you can go place your max chip. Looks like this needs a refresh. Click. Okay. And here we go. So double click on here and then place it. Then you'll be able to do some kind of simulation with your circuit. Okay. So opening up the data sheet for this device, I see for the M, the max one five zero zero six, it has eight pins, just like it shows in the, in a schematic symbol. And the pins are very simple. Pin one is voltage in pin eight is voltage out pin five is ground this no connect pin these ncs stand for no connect this no connect pin can take in a feedback apparently but we'll go with what this says so look let's go back to the schematic and i place the device here 
I use my right mouse button to zoom in to an area. Delete these. These should be no connects. Okay. Now, pin 8 is on the bottom, which I don't like. So here's how we can modify this device. Mm, yeah, I would go into the the actual library, modify the original device to match the data sheet. Or data sheet, if you will. I usually say data, so I don't know why I say data sheet. In any case, let's go and place this here. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, and then we'll right click and then choose save. Now that that's set, I'm going to close this device. Okay. And then what I'll do is right click. All right. And so now here we have the, if we want to update this part, let's go ahead and delete this. Get the design cache, clean it up. Yes. Refresh this library. Double click on the part and place it. Voila, pin eight is at the top. Now I'm going to wire this, hit the W on the keyboard. These other pins are no connects. Pin five is connected to ground. Go ahead, delete this green dot if you have it. Control S to save. Now if I put in 10 volts for my voltage regulator, let's see what happens. The minimum and maximum V in range, so to, to the max is 40. The typical is 10 volts. This looks good. Um, hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so I'm going to undo some. All right, so these pins have no connects. Uh, now, I would normally place a no connect on here by going to place, no connect, or hitting X on the keyboard and placing them. However, oftentimes that does not solve the simulation problem. What I typically find does is just shorting these pins to ground or to power, usually ground. So let's go to place, wire, place it. Place all these to ground. Right click and wire. So I'm going to save this. And then I will run another simulation. Just go to piece by run. Okay, you might get this error. Sub circuit max, so and so forth used by x underscore u1 is undefined. What does that mean? That means that u1 in the schematic has some sub-circuit that needs to find the lib file. Even though it has an associated spice template with it, it needs the lib file. How do we manage this? Okay, you would go into your pspice, uh, your pspice profile, so pspice edit simulation profile. Then go to configuration files library, hit browse, navigate to where you found the library part. In fact, I'm going to right click and cut this and play it, place this in an appropriate folder. We'll go and put this in here. And I would even put it in the part section. Okay, and it will call it like LDO. No, actually, this is supposed to be the max 15006A U1 example. Now it's in this folder. Uh, it said file not found. So I need to actually, it's looking for this. There we go, we paste it, and then click open. Now add this to the design. Click apply, then OK. Next, go to piece by run. And there you have it, 3 point uh, however many volts. 
on this. So we go to the, this. Okay, so we're looking at 3.3 volts from a ton volt input, and that is typical of a linear regulator. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Let's assume that this was our max chip of the 3893 whatnot. Let's assume it would be the max 3893BATV. Then this would verify that our circuit is at least starting to work. So a good exercise might be to adjust some values inside the SPICE model itself to match the max and then create a different lib file then generate the max file uh, olb file from from the model editor or associated the, or associate the new lib file you created with the existing device once you've done that and, and test to see that it simulates properly then you could build the schematic just like we have here in the in the original schematic design and see that it is indeed something that can be simulated along with the feedback and all of that stuff. It's a very interesting project and I hope you manage to get the simulation going and working.